Welcome back, my name is Zane Van Hook here at Dab Pumps and Technical Support, and today I will be showing you how to change out a pressure sensor in our 230 volt Easy Box. So like you're changing a tire on the side of the road, I like to remove the top off the pump and use it as my hub cap and remove the seven screws on top. Here's one, there's one in each corner. Two that sit near the priming port. This one in the corner. And then two that sit near the pressure tank of the pump. Once those seven screws are nice and loose, we will go in with our flathead screwdriver or the tool that comes with the pump. We will undo the shaft seal protection that sits on top. And then we can use the tool to remove the actual priming port from the pump. As easy as so. That has removed everything on top of the pump. So we will go ahead and remove the outgoing bung on the left hand side of the pump. incoming bung that sits in the front of the pump, as so. And then what we can do, guys, is we can lay it on its back, and there's two screws that we need to remove on the bottom of the actual pump that sit in each corner here and here. And as easy as that, everything that needs to be removed to get into the pump itself is not removed. So, what I like to do is go ahead and sit the pump up, remove the top of the pump, it comes freely, and I like to go ahead and remove all the screws off the top, that way when we go to reinsert the top of the pump, it has a firm fit to it. Pumps removed, we can go ahead and remove the face of the pump. I'll just kind of set it off to the side here. And the only side plate we need to remove, guys, is the outcoming side. So we'll go ahead, nice easy remove, and just remember that there is a seal that sits on the outgoing side. So you'll kind of have to give a little bit of pressure and then adjust up. That will remove this piece off the side. Side plate is now removed. And as you can see here, just like the EasyBox Mini, you can see the gray cord that leads to the pressure sensor itself. What I like to go ahead and do, remove it from the board. And then I like to take a pair of channel locks. And you can go ahead and unscrew the pressure sensor that sits down here. Just kind of get it a little bit loose. Let's go ahead and remove that out of the way. And then just simply unscrew the old pressure sensor. And take the new pressure sensor and screw it in. As easy as so. We can go ahead and just use two hands to guide that in. Once you think you have it nice and firm on your screw, we can go ahead and take those channel locks and just give it a nice tug to make sure everything aligns correctly. Nice and tight. Tuck back through the wiring and plug the pressure sensor back into the board. Now, what I like to do, go ahead and make sure the LED screen is completely plugged back into the board itself located here, and we can see the ribbon, ribbon that attaches to the LED screen to the back. So just give it a nice push, make sure everything is aligned correctly, and it is. So now we can go ahead 
and put the side plate back onto the pump. And make sure that the rubber stopper is aligned down here at the 230 cord. And this can be a little tricky, guys, so just give it a nice tug, make sure it snaps in. Like so. You can go ahead and put the protection on the outgoing side back in. And then we can go ahead and take the face plate, kind of slightly go ahead and insert it back to where it belongs. Now that the pressure sensor is completely intact, we can go ahead and take our side bump for our outgoing line, get that a little screw in. take our incoming bung and screw it in. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put the top of the pump back on first. And you'll kind of need to lift this ahead a little bit guys so it can get back in there like so. Just give it a nice push to make sure everything's firm. And then we can go and start putting our screws back in. So. We'll go ahead and put the two screws on the bottom back in first. Like so. Okay. The only thing we have remaining now is the top of the pump itself. So, what I like to do is go ahead and put the priming port back in, as so, and go ahead and take the tool and give it a nice screw back in. Okay, and then we will take our flathead screwdriver and screw that shaft seal protection back in, like so. Now the only thing remaining left, guys, is the screws that go on top of the pump. So one, two, three, four in each corner, one additional one to the pressure tank, and then two that go into the priming port area. And we'll go ahead and take our drill bit. And fasten everything back in up top for a confirmed seal. And just like so, we can go ahead and put the tool back in. And that is how we change the pressure sensor and the 230 volt easy box. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions or any concerns, please give us a call here at Dad Pumps. Thank you for watching.